Hello besties. We got a juicy tea spill reading that I'm very excited about. I've been kind of away from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills franchise for a couple of years, but you know, this scandal about Kyle Richards and Mauricio could be butchering that because you know your girl's dyslexic. Splitting up is she seeing Morgan um, Wade? I believe that's her name, the country singer. We're just gonna call her Morgan Momo. We're gonna we're gonna get the tea. What's the energy between obviously Kyle and Mauricio, and then Kyle and Morgan? We're gonna spill all the tea and nothing but the tea. So if you like this, let me know your predictions down below. She came out to the press as I'm recording this yesterday, saying that they were not talking or dating. Um. I don't know. I sense bullshit, but we're going to get into it. So hit that like, subscribe, notification button. Let me know what you guys think. This is all alleged for entertainment purposes, only covering my ass. Thank you. Don't get mad at me, girl. I'm just reading the energy between you. I'm not saying that you're doing anything. I'm just saying this is the energy and I'm going to stick to my guns of what I see. But Without further ado, we got the tarot followed by the uh, La Roche's Goddess Queen, Just Me 23's deck. Make sure you check her out on YouTube as well. Friend of the channel. First, we're going to start. Let's give it a little, little shuffle shuffle. Should we start with Kyle and Mauricio first? We'll start with them first. Let's, Let's do a little shuffle each side three times because three is my favorite motherfucking number. Okay, ready? So we're going to do Kyle's energy, Mauricio's energy, the energy in between. So Kyle's energy is the sun in the, <laughs> in the reverse. Um, so this is a lack of happiness, lack of excitement, um, sadness, unreal expectations, you know, letting go of that connectedness. Um, it is also feeling like oppressed, like the world's out to get you. Didn't she have a psychic that said, um, asked her what marriage she was on. And then she was like, yeah, that'll probably be her last marriage, but they won't emotionally fulfill you. Just saying, maybe that psychic wasn't right. Didn't she come back online and pop off? You go off, psychic. If not, go. if the psychic sees this, let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Okay, Mauricio is the Nine of Cups in the reverse, which is shattered dreams, nightmares, unhappiness, devastated, misery, it's lack of fulfillment. So I don't know if it's the energy of fuck around and find out, the energy between them, conflict, fighting, five of wands. Um, yeah, defensiveness, ego, personalities going back and forth, territorial, being assertive. It sounds like someone was sneaking around. We'll get more clarification, but it's really given the energy of he was sneaking around first. She was not cool with it, not having it, whatever. Kept the family together, wanted to keep them together because they were at the child's wedding before this was announced, right? And then it was like, as soon as that was done, it was like, I'm going to do what you did to me back and now you're going to know how it feels. That's that's very much on the defense. Let's go back to Kyle's energy. Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. Someone who's unconcerned with the feelings of others. I think, she, you know, she was hurt in the past and yeah... It's one of those things. It's greedy selfishness card. We got the six of pentacles in reverse. Um, yes, that can mean money problems. I really don't think real estate, I guess, is slow right now. They went in a business together. I'm pretty sure Mauricio and Kyle did. Um, but yeah, three of swords, heartbreak, pain, depression, loss, upset, conflict, living in that delusion. Let's go into Mauricio's energy. Yeah. Feeling like waste of time, lack of ambition, disappointment. So if the truth comes out, I think it might be a little embarrassing. Um, definitely there's childhood issues, you know, broken dreams. So maybe, you know, he thought he had this happily ever after, this picture-perfect marriage like they portrayed on the show, allegedly. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not finishing what you started. It's like he planted the seeds. He gave like this false hope. He was like, oh, it's going to be X, Y, Z. I love you, I love you, I love you, and then no follow through, right? It's very much, yeah, lack of success, stagnation, disappointment, lack of completion. It's like this energy where, like, 
where people like fans of like the show or like Kyle and she would come to like business ventures with him because there's a lot of business around this. I know they both got their real estate license together, I believe, if I remember correctly. But the energy between them, yeah, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So unhappy families, unhappy life, broken homes, security, stability. What was once the dream life is no longer. Yeah, definitely someone who um, will do anything for money. It just seemed like it was a transactional relationship, materialism. Like it lost the passion, the spark potentially. Yeah, but the energy between them after feeling stabbed in the back, there's like it's what's done is over with. You're, we're pulling ourselves together. We're learning from our past hardships and your fears are coming true. But I do see there's hope in the future for tongue tied eventually they're gonna have to sit down and have communication i said that at five 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 of swords in the reverse so i do see a peaceful resolution moving on compromise communication i do see them moving forward moving on not necessarily possibly together but putting the past behind them in the future and really being happy with the choices and the outcome the hard work's paying off um but yeah it's still that energy of being very reckless that they were to get back together. It's very someone who keeps promising and won't show out. Yeah, it's repetitive. Someone probably kept telling the other person like X, Y, Z, like you keep doing this, doing that, blah, 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 blah. It's that naggy energy. And yeah, finally, the indecisiveness became decisive. The universe said, if you're not going to call judgment on this situation, we are, you know, your unwillingness to learn this karmic lesson and this closing karmic cycle is really, you know, fucking this up. So let's move on to the next deck. Let's go with obviously Kyle is showing up as the gambler, the risk taker, taking a chance, um, motives, nobody's safe. Obviously these cards are Oracle deck, but like Mauricio showing up as marry me upside down. So it was that forever partner union and partnership that they did have going. The energy between them, time's a ticking. It's on time limit, time exposure. Going back to Kyle. Yeah, she's very logical right now. She's very, how I said, masculine energy thinks with their head or their head. They don't have to be a masculine. You go in and out of your divine feminine and masculine energies all the time. But really, she's thinking with her dick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, she's on her back. She's on her hustle. I know she's recently sober. She's doing all these boss moves. Um, but yeah, she's been getting signs and synchronicities. Maybe, you know, when you've been with someone that long and you completely do a lifestyle change, like being sober, doing X, Y, Z, maybe you just realize that that's not for you. Or there was a karmic third party around them um, on his side. He was sneaking around and she just realized wolves in sheep clothing. What I thought my life was was not what it really is. Meanwhile, he's showing up as bitter baby father, bitter baby mama. Probably didn't think that you were going to leave him for someone else, possibly Morgan. We're going to figure out allegedly. Um, but yeah. With this energy of get your sage on, it's kind of like, you know, cleanse it, get rid of toxic people, places, and things. I think he also got this, like, it's like he took the bait. It's like he was getting signs and getting lured in by the secret admirer, allegedly. Someone told him how he felt, and then, you know, he dabbled in it, and now he was like, you fucked all this up, get away from me. <laughs> like vampire. Like that's very much it. He's about ready to blow up your phone. Someone's in it to win it, in it to lose it. I think there's a lot of things that want to stay hidden from both sides. The energy between them, diet change. So change in morals, values, ideals, the separation. I think they're staying together for all the businesses right now. It's cheaper to stay, you know, married than divorced. But yeah, the energy between them, with the hammer, I don't know if it's just, like, the sexual attraction's not there, like, the leveling up, or it's only, like, I'm only sexually attracted to you. There's nothing emotionally anymore. With the Black Widow, it really is that energy. A karmic person from a past life, a karmic soulmate, hard to break chords. Yeah, an apology is in between them for passion. So I don't know if 
someone allegedly had a one night stand that started this from the beginning. But yeah, it ended it as soon as it started. And it was like, I'm moving on to bigger, better things. And you're not a part of this anymore. Someone else is with the entanglement. And it could be, I don't know any other signs, could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If not, this is also, um, could have started in Taurus season, you know, we're not that far away from it. But yeah, there was bad vices, addictions, drugs, alcohol, codependency. My bad habits are affecting me. My family and friends don't want me with you. I'm confused and hurt. And yeah, it's really feeling like this energy of, you know, it is what it is and we're moving forward and we're moving on. But let's put these cards back and give them a good shuffle again. Um, and then we're going to move into Morgan and Kyle's energy because supposedly, you know, they said that they're not together, but interesting, in my opinion, allegedly, TikTok, TikTok, YouTube, I meant YouTube, but both, see all the above. Okay, that deck, this deck, do, 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 do. Yeah, and I guess the middle energy between them could have been the ending of the addictions, the alcohol, the things like that, that gave this clarity and this new perspective. But anyways, let's move on to Kyle and Morgan's energy. And we'll start with Kyle once again first. She's showing up as the transition card, six of swords. So moving into calmer waters, healing, things are progressing, the calm after the storm, running away. It's also a period of travel. Morgan is showing up as standing your ground, seven of, seven of, you know, one. So standing up for your, what your beliefs, it's a very protective energy, um, taking the high road, maintaining control, but a little territorial and assertive. The energy between them. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, it is the two of cups. It is a love card. It is a partnership, attraction, harmony, marriage, engagement, mutual love and respect, Allegedly, but also it could be a soulmate. Soulmates don't always have to be romantic lovers. They could be a partnership. Um, but I mean, bitch. Use your own discretion. Going back to Kyle's energy, now she's showing up as the sun upright. In the beginning, she showed up as the sun in the reverse. So positivity, freedom, self-expression, feeling, you know, free, happy in the moment, standing in your truth. Good luck. Yeah, it really is this curiosity card that is the energy of Page of Swords up, up right now. It really is realizing that you're feeling inspired, protective. You're very unconcerned with the feelings of others, right? And so it's like doing what you want and moving forward. As for this, now we do have the, <laughs> can't make this shit up, we do have the lovely Ten of Cups upright, so, I mean, that is the, why pick a fence, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats, um, stability, security, it is a family card, um, benefit of the doubt, it is a card of, you know, Caring for one another, stability, security, anything else you want and more. Um, we also have the Wheel of Fortune upright, the 10 of 10 is all about closing out karmic cycles. I did say the energy between the previous two with Mauricio was that energy of karmic soulmate. But now this is karma. This is destiny. This is fated, a Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the devil in reverse. <laughs> It is definitely, you know, lack of perspective, being reckless, not caring. It is a selfish card. It is, you know, dabbling in, you know, what's not normal. But I think it's trusting your intuition, being careful. There are some illusions, misconceptions, insecurities. Maybe that's why she isn't fully 
open about this yet. Um, as for Morgan, she is showing up as after the seven of wands, she's showing up as the nine of swords in reverse. So there's light at the end of the tunnel, letting go of negativity and stress. Um, yeah, the resilience card is coming out. So it's feeling like, you know, an ongoing battle, but you got a backbone, like you're gathering your strength. You're ready to fight through this, have each other's back and really the tower moment. Maybe this is not when they wanted it to air out. Um, tower moments, you know, can't, don't always have to be negative, but they're like ready or not. Here we come. It's coming to the light. Um, but yeah, we got the three of wands again. So it's looking forward. There's a future. Once again, travel happy with the choices and the outcomes looking forward to the future. And yeah, there, she's also acting very recklessly with the passion card in the reverse. It's, you know, someone who's confident, who's loud, who's bold, who knows what they want and gets after it. I'm not really getting more of the energy, the false promises. It's like, I know what I want. I'm going to claim it now. Um, I do see the eight of pentacles in the upright. So with that, we do have this energy of this patience, this accomplishment, this everything you want and more, but it's like, you know, I've been patient enough. Now we're at a roadblock. Where do we go from here? We're sitting on the fence. You got two relationships, two decisions. Is it me? Is it him? That's the vibe I'm really getting, but the energy between them, they manifested this. The magician ones are all about new beginnings, acting on that creativity. I don't know if Kyle is serving as a muse. Um, I know her Morgan's ex-girlfriend came out and made a TikTok. Then I think it got deleted about seeing Kyle at the show. Um, but manifesting your dreams and your desires, standing in your truth, King of Swords. They're very loyal and very, you know this is our way or the highway, like power, power to them. I don't know if they're going to be a power couple allegedly, but yeah, I think it was a period of feeling like loneliness and like trapped. I know they work out together. Um, I know they're both sober. I believe Morgan's also sober, but it feels like, yeah, this is karmic justice. 11, 11. They've been wishing for this, you know, it's life lessons and you know, it's this doubt. Do we really want this? Do we want to come public? Do we not? Um, out here is kind of the real, the real question. I'm going to split the deck. Final outcome. Yeah. High priestess, trusting the intuition, two, 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 duality, partnership, things to be yet to be revealed. Um, yeah, I just would be careful that money problems, if they do divorce, comes out here with the page of pentacles. It's feeling like there's money problems, bad news, but I would just be careful with that feeling left out in the cold and moving on. So I think it's just the energy is like they no longer feel that when they're together. Yeah, this is the escape, the ruin from this. It's like finally Kyle feels heard and appreciated is the vibe that I'm getting. But let's jump to LaRasha's deck. Kyle's energy. She's in it to win and in it to lose it, bestie. She's Soul contract says so. And then, yeah, we have Morgan blow up your phone. So call, text, communication. This is like the eight of wands in this deck. It's fast moving energy. The energy between them, yeah, time's a ticking. Once again, the energy between those two was time is ticking, but the the vibes are completely different. So it was a matter of time. I don't want to say there's overlap. Allegedly, there possibly could have been. But yeah, Kyle's looking for this life partner union. Romantic or close friend. That was a really bad wing. Um, close friend, um, give each other a boost. Yeah. She wants this foundation. She wants to feel secure. She wants to feel like someone wants her. It's like the root, you know, your root chakra is like the base. It feels your fight or flight mode, the white pick offense, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats. Yeah. She feels like a million bucks. This is like my Rihanna card shine bright, even if it hurts their eyes. And yeah, divine timings at play here. Seven, seven, seven energy. God universe source called timing on this. It was a wake up call. She's trusting her intuition and coming forward. And, you know, Morgan's showing up as the chaser. She's ready to fight for this. She wants to give that energy back to Kyle. Maybe Kyle hasn't been used to this in the past. Um, I think this person is definitely, aka Morgan is Kyle's soul tribe and family meant to be in their life for a reason. 
um, fills that masculine void of, I, you can't tell me that Morgan's not the divine masculine most of the time in, in the relationship. Everyone has, doesn't matter gender, one's more of the divine masculine naturally and one's more of the divine feminine, right? And she loves the familiar. And I think, you know, she's going to get pissed off, um, on some things that are probably happening in the news, um, and she was, she's very protective, like I'm saying. I don't think it's, like, a scary bad energy of that. But, I mean, she's showing up as the let's get naughty card. Um, but the child distraction. So I think that's what's holding this back is obviously the kids. Kyle had a whole life before this. Kyle is a little older as well. Um, and I'm just here to bring the tea. Um, and yeah, she just wants her greedily to herself. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's in like a bad way, but it's like they're at two different points, right? This is like something more mature, but you want to spend time with this person. But now this person has to attend all these events, including a wedding with, you know, their ex-husband and blah, 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 blah. But I think this is being guided together by God, universe, source. There's a lot of feelings, the energy in between them. Um, feminine energy, it's very expressive, nurturing. Um, the fear is that one of them might run away and be noncommittal. But I do see abundance between them. Health, wealth, love, gratitude, being present in the moment, experiencing all things. If they don't, they'll regret it. But I do think there's a lot of love there that could possibly blossom into more. Whether one person's in denial, they're not ready to be open and out with this, but they are definitely soulmates, whether that is platonic soulmates or romantic soulmates. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I just think they need to be careful who they trust. Someone might be leaking something um, to the news with the backstabbers card coming out and the receipts following that. So phone call, text, communication arrives. Um, yeah, this could cause some issues. Because this might push the divorce to move forward. But it would be a leveling up and they would be able to get together. But the whole world is watching. They're entertained. And I don't think they thought that this would be as big as it is or as soon as it is. But I love you besties. Let me know what you think about this information. Do you think that they're in the relationship? Who do you think cheated? Do you think anyone cheated? We Oliver and I want to know all the tea and nothing but the tea. I love you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and I will see you later. Bye.